Jackie, and I welcome you to the class. And this is official because I'm doing it in person, which is the way I would do it if I were in a classroom, of course. But I decided that even though the supply list is coming on slides, and I get to show you all the different things that I think that are fun to use, and one by one over a period of a long time, you can probably acquire them. But this way, you know you've met me in person. I hope that if you're ever down here in the Palm Springs area, you're going to personally say hi to me. But it's fun to have you here. I'm looking forward to all that we're going to do together. And uh, I'd love to see what you accomplish in this actually 12 week six project little uh, drawing thing that we're doing together. I hate to use the word class because it's just me kind of encouraging you to experiment doing fun new things and be pretty happy with yourself and what you have been able to achieve. So that's it for this moment. I'll see you in or talk to you in the slides and see you in the class next week when we begin this whole adventure. So thanks for being here with me. Bye for now. Well, there you have it. Now I'm going to talk to you from in front of my computer with this little slideshow. And what I'm showing you is there's going to be two ways that people are going to draw in this class. Some will draw digitally because they have the equipment and want to use it and absolutely feel free to do it. So there's the iPad and for the iPad I rec recommend this Art Studio app which is what I use when I paint or draw every morning. I do a preliminary drawing that starts my day and I use Art Studio app. And then later in the day I paint on my desktop computer and I use Corel Painter 12. I strongly recommend that if you're going to paint digitally you try that program because it's incredible. So there it is for people who are going to do it digitally. Then for the rest of us and I do this as well as digital. I love to draw the traditional way, hand to paper, with something to mark that paper. And so that is um, what we're going to talk about, what kind of supplies you need to do that. So here you go, shopping for the tools and things. Um, I want you to awaken the kid inside because this is about expressive drawing, not academic drawing. This is where we left off in that creative process and said, oh, now I have to be grown up. Well, you don't have to be. You can be anything you want to be, and hopefully the kid of you will be the one who's doing the drawing, because that one, that kid inside is free. So crayons are fine. Sharpie markers are fine. Stores that I like that sell those kind of things, Target, Michaels, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, go online to dickblick.com or go to your favorite local art supply store. But remember, you also, besides having serious stuff, you want to have some fun tools. So if you're in the Palm Springs area, I highly recommend you go to Venus Arts Studios Art Supply. It's on 111. The woman who runs it Deb and owns it, Deborah Mum, is just incredible. She gets you anything you want, but has all these goodies for you to look at. I mean, including spray paint, which is, you know, you can do anything and find anything there and you get, definitely get some questions answered. So if you're not in Palm Springs, also go to a local supply store and browse. Art supplies don't have to be for very serious um, situations. They can be for having fun with art. Okay, here's a few serious art supplies that I'm going to show you. These are Creata, Creata Color um, drawing things and you can look at them and these are a drawing 101 set that has a colored and, and 
um, Conti crayon and charcoal and drawing pencils and a stump and things to use. The stuff that I'm more interested in you're getting would be some fun, colorful things like new pastels. They are great to draw with. Uh, soft pastels, they're also great to draw with. And I love anything chunky. We won't go there why I love chunky, but chunky is fun. And so there's chunky charcoal, chunky graphite. These are colored chunkies. This is plain old wonderful charcoal. And they feel really good in your hand. I like to draw with pens also, so I use Micron pens. And they come in all different sizes and, and different points, so try them. There's the ebony pencil, which is really very nice. But my favorite of all is the woodless extra soft graphite pencil. It has no wood on it. It sharpens like a regular pencil. It feels really good in the hand. And somehow I move really well when I use it. So those are some ideas. And now we're getting to paper. I had said that you were going to use uh, newsprint. My suggestion is to save some newspapers. Take the business section. It's great to draw on. Cut it into pieces, you know, tear it into pieces that are fun to just uh, use. You can use classifieds. You can use the comics. And a Sharpie marker on these make great backgrounds for drawings. They also, it's not like looking at a white piece of paper. I can tell you that. It's a whole lot of fun. So definitely save some of those. My favorite paper is this, and I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not French. I'm not, I'm not, don't speak French. And they tell me how you have to say it here. So you read it. And if you know French, you'll know how to say it. I've been calling it my tens for years. I don't know what it really is called, but it's great drawing paper. I've gotten it at Michael's. I've gotten it at Aaron Brothers. Um, and Dick Blick does carry it, and it's reasonable. And it's great that they do ha half sheets or or like four, 11 by 14 and 16 by 20 and 18 by 24, I think, is the size that most people use. These are the sketch pads that I showed you. And this is a, a sketch board that has clips and would be good to hold some of your materials. So look around, see what it is that you want, want to use to put your paper on and get it. It doesn't, it could be homemade, a piece of cardboard, and that's just fine. A couple of bulldog, they're called bulldog, bulldog clips will do fine. I will show you in the first class how I lean. I, I actually elevate a board by putting a couple of cans underneath it, which gives it an angle that I think is fun to draw with. And um, you can use any kind of backing board. Anything that you can be free with. Do not get serious about the, the materials. Get serious about having fun drawing. Okay, now the last little thing is questions. Any questions, please ask them. Call me. Call me here at 760-831-1190 or email me, Jackie at JackieJacobson.com. Either way, ask whatever you want. You've got about a week before this next um, session comes. This is not timed. You can do this at your own leisure when you feel like it. And even though it, the, the sessions are going to come two weeks apart, if you didn't get to it, then you'll do two sessions at one time. I mean, there's nothing, there's no rules in this. Just know that because art has no rules. And so for sure, this little class that we're doing together or adventure, as I like to refer to it, has no rules. So there it is. Go out, explore, and I'll see you here in about a week with the first of fun projects for experimental drawing. Talk to you later. Bye for now.